1955, a fossil hunter in Illinois dug up something that shouldn't exist. A creature with eye stalks like a hammerhead shark, a claw-tipped proboscis, and a body that breaks every rule of evolution. Scientists have been fighting about it for 60 years. Some say it's a fish, others say that's impossible. And in 2020, new evidence proved both sides might be completely wrong. This is the Tully monster, the fossil that science still can't explain. Francis Tully wasn't a paleontologist. He was just an amateur fossil collector digging through ancient rock formations near Morris, Illinois, a place called Maison Creek. The rocks there date back 300 million years to the Carboniferous period when massive swamp forests covered North America and bizarre creatures ruled the seas. On a routine dig in 1955, Tully cracked open a piece of shale and found something that made him freeze. Pressed into the rock was a creature unlike anything he'd ever seen. It had a torpedo-shaped body about 12 inches long, two bulging structures sticking out from its sides, and a long tube extending from the front ending in what looked like a claw. Tully brought it to the Field Museum in Chicago. The paleontologists there examined it, then re-examined it, then called in more experts, because nobody could figure out what they were looking at. Was it a worm? A mollusk? Some kind of squid? It didn't match anything in the fossil record. So they did the only thing they could do. They named it after the man who found it, Tullamonstrum gregarium, Tully's monster. And here's where it gets disturbing, because over the next 60 years, scientists would discover that this creature doesn't just look alien, it might actually be impossible. Let's break down exactly why the Tully monster is so terrifying. First, those bulging structures on the sides. Those are eyes, but not normal eyes. They're positioned on stalks that extend outward from the body like a hammerhead shark. Here's the problem. No known invertebrate, no worm, no mollusk, no arthropod has ever had eyes positioned like this. Eye stalks exist in nature, sure. Snails have them, but not arranged in this hammerhead configuration. That's a vertebrate feature. Second, that long tube extending from the front, the proboscis. It stretches out nearly a third of the creature's body length and ends in a claw structure with eight tiny teeth arranged in a circle. What was it grabbing? What was it eating? And why would evolution design such a bizarre feeding mechanism? Nothing alive today has anything remotely like this. And third, this is the most disturbing part. When scientists examined the body structure, they found evidence of something called a notochord. That's a primitive spine, a defining feature of vertebrates. Fish have it, we have it. Worms and mollusks do not. So let me get this straight. This creature has vertebrate features and invertebrate features. It's like nature couldn't decide what to make, so it made this. But scientists were about to make it even more confusing because the Tully monster isn't rare. Since 1955, paleontologists have discovered over 1,200 Tully monster fossils. That's more than enough to study every detail of its anatomy. You'd think with that many specimens, we'd have answers by now. But here's what makes this truly unsettling. Every single fossil has been found in one location, Maison Creek, Illinois. That's it. Not in similar rock formations in neighboring states, not in other carboniferous deposits around the world. Just there. Think about that. 300 million years ago, the world was covered in shallow seas and swamp forests. Creatures migrated, ocean currents spread species across continents. Yet the Tully monster appears in one tiny pocket of prehistoric Illinois and nowhere else. It's like this creature existed in a single isolated environment and then vanished without leaving a trace anywhere else on Earth. What was it hiding from? Or what was hiding it? But in 2016, scientists thought they finally cracked the case and their answer shocked the paleontology world. In March 2016, a team from Yale University published their findings in Nature, one of the most prestigious scientific journals in the world. They'd analyzed over 1,200 Tully monster fossils using cutting-edge imaging technology. And they had an answer. The Tully monster, they declared, was a vertebrate. 
specifically a primitive jawless fish related to modern lampreys. Case closed. Their evidence seemed solid. They found structures that looked like gills. They identified what appeared to be a notochord running the length of the body. And most importantly, they discovered that those bizarre eye stalks contained melanosomes. In 2020, another study suggested it might be related to Nemertian worms, bizarre ribbon-like creatures that shoot out a proboscis to capture prey. But that doesn't explain the eye stalks. In 2022, a team proposed it was a stem group vertebrate, something that branched off before vertebrates fully evolved. But that doesn't explain why it only exists in one location. And here's where this mystery gets truly disturbing, because the more we study it, the more impossible it becomes. Let's talk about why both theories break the fundamental rules of evolution. If the Tully monster is a vertebrate, it would be the only vertebrate in the entire history of life on Earth with eyes mounted on stalks positioned like that. Every vertebrate from ancient fish to modern humans has eyes integrated into the skull structure. They don't stick out on hammerhead stalks. That's not how vertebrate anatomy works. But if it's an invertebrate, it would be the only invertebrate with a notochord-like structure and that specific eye anatomy and melanosomes arrange in vertebrate patterns. Evolution doesn't work like that. Features don't just randomly appear. They evolve gradually over millions of years from common ancestors. But the Tully monster has features that don't connect to anything in the fossil record before it or after it. No ancestors, no descendants. It appears suddenly in the Carboniferous period with fully formed bizarre anatomy, exists for a geological blink of an eye, then vanishes completely. It's like nature tried an experiment realized it was a mistake, and erased it from existence. What if the Tully monster isn't actually extinct? What if creatures like this still exist in the deep ocean where we've barely explored? Think about it. We've only mapped 20% of the ocean floor. We discover new species every single year in the deep sea, and many of them look just as alien as the Tully monster. Creatures with anatomy that shouldn't work according to our understanding of biology. In 2023 alone, scientists discovered over 5,000 new marine species, things with transparent heads, things with teeth in places that shouldn't have teeth, things that glow, that hunt in ways we've never seen, that survive in conditions that should be impossible. The Tully monster lived in shallow coastal waters 300 million years ago. But what if, when those environments disappeared during mass extinction events, some populations adapted and moved deeper. What if they're still down there, in trenches we haven't explored, under Antarctic ice shells we haven't penetrated? We thought coelacanths were extinct for 66 million years. Then in 1938, a fisherman caught one off the coast of South Africa, alive and thriving. We thought giant squids were myths. Now we have footage of them in the deep ocean. The ocean keeps secrets. And the Tully monster proves that some mysteries might not be mysteries at all. They might just be waiting to be rediscovered. The Tully monster has baffled scientists for 60 years. It might baffle them for 60 more, but that's what makes it extraordinary. A creature that breaks every rule, a fossil that rewrites what we think we know about evolution, a mystery that refuses to be solved. If you're obsessed with prehistoric enigmas like this, hit that subscribe button because next week we're diving into another creature that was found alive in 2024 after being extinct for 10 million years. And what scientists discovered about it is going to blow your mind. Before you go, drop your Tully monster theory in the comments. Vertebrate, invertebrate, or something else. Smash that like button if this mystery fascinated you. And check out this video next where we explore the prehistoric predator that still haunts the Amazon River. The ocean has secrets, the fossil record has gaps, and somewhere out there, the truth about the Tully monster is waiting to surface.